breaking news tonight. Sean Diddy Combs has been arrested in a Manhattan hotel this evening after a grand jury indicted the music mogul. Diddy's world has been turned upside down. The FBI raid on his mansion didn't just uncover a few dirty secrets, it exposed a twisted empire that's darker than anyone could have imagined. Guns, unregistered firearms, and a staggering 1,000 bottles of lube. And that's just the beginning. His glamorous lifestyle is nothing compared to the disturbing truth behind those walls. Could this shocking discovery be the final blow that ends Diddy for good? Shocking discovery inside Diddy's home. Back in March, when authorities raided Diddy's mansion, no one could have predicted the magnitude of what they would uncover. The world knew him as a mogul, a powerhouse in the music industry, but what they found inside his home revealed a much darker side. Among the seized items were unregistered firearms, a disturbing amount of ammunition, and, most shockingly, over a thousand bottles of personal lubricant. Yes, you heard that right, one thousand bottles of lube. But behind the humor, there was a more unsettling implication. Why would anyone, let alone a billionaire music mogul, need that much lubricant? The discovery raised eyebrows and suspicions. A detailed report revealed that video footage found inside Diddy's home depicted lavish, wild parties, what some insiders called freak-off events. As if the lubricant wasn't shocking enough, the firearms found in Diddy's home intensified the controversy. These weapons, some of them unregistered, reignited public memories of Diddy's involvement in the 1999 nightclub shooting with Jennifer Lopez. Could these guns be a continuation of that violent legacy? But the story doesn't end there. Insiders from Diddy's inner circle have come forward with even more disturbing allegations. Former bodyguard Gene Deal, who worked with Diddy for years, has given multiple interviews about what truly went down at those infamous parties. He claims these events were wild beyond anyone's imagination and featured high-profile celebrities engaging in acts that could ruin their careers if exposed. For years, rumors about Diddy's secretive lifestyle have swirled in Hollywood, but these new revelations paint a much darker picture. Guests at his parties weren't just indulging in luxury and excess. Some were allegedly coerced into participating in acts that went far beyond normal behavior. One insider even mentioned that Diddy's power and influence allowed him to keep these events under wraps for decades until now. The lube bottles, the guns, the videotapes, they all suggest something far more troubling than a celebrity's extravagant lifestyle. And yet the most concerning part may be the unanswered questions. What exactly were the guns for? Who were the other high-profile guests at these secretive parties? Were these gatherings consensual? Or were there darker forces at play? Fans and the media are left to wonder what else could be hidden in the life of one of music's biggest stars. Diddy's prison nightmare just got worse. While Diddy's home was a shocking glimpse into his secret life, his current reality behind bars is even more disturbing. After being arrested in mid-September, Diddy was transferred to the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn, a prison notorious for its violent conditions and neglectful staff. For someone used to living in luxury, the sudden shift from his mansion to a cold, overcrowded cell is unimaginable. It's not just the physical conditions of the prison that are troubling. The MDC is the same place where infamous figures like Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell were held. And as we all know, Epstein didn't make it to trial. This has sparked widespread speculation that Diddy might be facing similar threats. Reports of stabbings, brutal fights, and filthy living conditions plagued the MDC. The prison isn't just dangerous because of the other inmates, it's notorious for poor sanitation, where reports have claimed maggots have been found in the food, and violence between prisoners is common. According to a lawyer representing other inmates, there's an average of one stabbing per week. If that isn't horrifying enough, a 2023 news article revealed that four inmates have committed suicide in just three years. For someone like Diddy, who's never experienced life in such an environment, surviving long enough to make it to trial could be his biggest challenge. In fact, Diddy's lawyer has been working tirelessly to secure his release on bail, but the courts have been unrelenting. Despite offering a staggering $50 million bail package, Judge Andrew Carter crushed any hopes of Diddy's early release, stating that Diddy poses a risk to the community. Judge Carter emphasized that Diddy's vast resources and history of witness tampering made him too dangerous to be allowed out on bail. You can find the court's decision in the court transcripts published by USA Today shortly after the hearing. It's hard to imagine someone like Diddy, who was once at the top of the world, now sitting in isolation in a notorious prison. But isolation doesn't mean safety. Even in solitary, prisoners at the MDC face terrible conditions. Inmates from the prison have spoken out, saying that isolation units are freezing cold, 
lights are kept on 24 7 and the conditions can drive a person to the edge of sanity. Diddy's wealth and status have done nothing to protect him from the harsh reality of his situation. He's reportedly being kept away from the general population for now, but how long can that last? With the sheer volume of dangerous inmates around him, one has to wonder if Diddy's legal team is working against the clock to get him out before something goes horribly wrong. His lawyer's desperation to secure his release reflects just how dangerous it is inside. As winter approaches, Diddy's situation could get even worse. In the infamous 2019 incident at MDC, prisoners were left without heat and freezing conditions for days. It's not hard to see how someone like Diddy, who's lived a life of luxury, could struggle in these harsh circumstances. The MDC's long history of neglect and corruption only adds to the danger he's facing. With Diddy's life hanging by a thread inside one of America's deadliest prisons, will he even make it to trial? Explosive allegations that could end Diddy. While Diddy struggles to survive inside the Metropolitan Detention Center, the outside world is becoming even more dangerous for him. New allegations keep surfacing, each more damaging than the last. It started with his ex-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, who filed a lawsuit accusing him of years of abuse, but that was just the beginning. Cassie's lawsuit revealed shocking details about her relationship with Diddy. She claimed that he abused her physically and emotionally, and even forced her to have sex with other men. A viral video from November 2023, widely circulated online, shows Diddy violently attacking Cassie in a hotel lobby. The footage is hard to watch, but it's undeniable proof that Diddy's past isn't as clean as he's claimed, but Cassie isn't the only one who's come forward. Just a week before his arrest, Diddy was hit with another lawsuit from Dawn Richard, a former member of the girl group Danity Kane, which Diddy assembled. She accused Diddy of groping her and physically assaulting her when she tried to intervene in one of his violent outbursts against Cassie. Dawn's lawsuit paints a horrifying picture of what went on behind the scenes of Diddy's music empire. As more women step forward, it's clear that Diddy's legal trouble are far from over. The sheer number of allegations against him combined with video footage and witness testimony paint a damning picture of a man whose empire was built on a foundation of abuse, manipulation, and control. One shocking revelation came from Lil Rod's 2024 lawsuit. Allegations made by Lil Rod, Rodney Jones was once a trusted music producer for Sean Diddy Combs. Now he has shaken up the entertainment world with his recent allegations. Jones, who worked on Diddy's latest album, has filed some serious claims against the music mogul, and the story is not pretty. Jones is not making any baseless claims. He says that he has all the receipts and is ready to prove everything in court. So what allegations has Jones made against Diddy? Jones has filed a lawsuit accusing Diddy of trafficking and harassment. He has backed this up with an 18-page declaration, which he submitted in February, and he is not backing down. According to Jones, he is willing to testify under oath, which is a big deal because that means he is confident in what he is saying and ready to go all the way with this. So why now? Why is Jones coming forward with all of this? Well, for one, people have been coming at him questioning his credibility and trying to poke holes in his story, but Jones seems determined to prove he is not making this up, and he says he has hundreds of hours of video footage to back him up. That's a lot of evidence, and according to Jones, it is all real, showing what he says were constant criminal activities happening in Diddy's world. Now let's talk about what Jones says he saw. According to his declaration, Jones witnessed all sorts of illegal activity, like drugs including ecstasy, cocaine, marijuana, ketamine, you name it. He even claims that Diddy was involved in distributing these substances. Jones also said that Diddy provided laced alcohol to minors and even gave unregistered firearms to people. All of this supposedly took place at Diddy's homes in various places like California, New York, and even the Virgin Islands. That's a pretty heavy list of accusations. And it is not just Diddy that Jones is pointing the finger at. He has also called out Diddy's chief of staff, Christina Coram, saying that she was in on it too. According to Jones, Coram was responsible for getting drugs for Diddy's personal use. Other than this, Jones claims he was witness to something truly disturbing involving Diddy's son, Christian King Combs. According to Jones, Christian drugged a stewardess on a yacht and then tried to force her into inappropriate acts. Jones says this all happened in a makeshift recording studio on board while he was recording Christian's auto-tune rapping. The stewardess had to physically resist Christian's advances and Jones is alleging that he saw it all happen. Then there is the story of the writer's camp that Diddy hosted at Chalice Recording Studios. Jones described this camp as more of a party than a work environment. According to him, Diddy turned the studio's parking lot into a mini nightclub, complete with a bar, massage spa, and hookah. Everyone working on Diddy's love album, Jones claims, was forced to take shots of tequila, laced tequila to be exact. If someone refused, they were immediately considered suspicious and untrustworthy. And Jones didn't realize it at the time, but he now says this was Diddy's way of controlling people. Other than this, Jones also claims that during the time he lived with Diddy, he saw a lot more than he bargained for. 
He says that Diddy would regularly order his staff to bring him drugs and prostitutes and no one ever questioned it. Even worse, Jones says that he was forced to participate in some of these activities against his will. He also discovered that Diddy's house was rigged with hidden cameras and audio devices, meaning that everything happening in that house was recorded. As if that was not enough, Jones says that Diddy tried to lure him into staying in this chaotic world with big promises. According to Jones, Diddy offered him a Grammy, $250,000 for any instruments he wanted, and even ownership of a $20 million property. All of this supposedly is to keep Jones involved in the operation. These explosive allegations have rocked the music industry. Diddy, once considered untouchable, is now facing an avalanche of accusations that could bring his entire career crashing down. And these aren't just empty claims. The lawsuits have been backed up by evidence, witnesses, and in some cases, shocking video footage that leaves little room for doubt. Diddy's lawyers have, of course, denied everything, calling the lawsuits a money grab and accusing the women involved of trying to capitalize on the mogul's wealth. But the evidence is mounting and the public's opinion is shifting. As these cases go to court, the question everyone is asking is, how much longer can Diddy keep his empire intact? His reputation, once untouchable, is crumbling, and with new allegations surfacing by the day, his time at the top may be over sooner than anyone could have predicted. And with so many powerful figures coming forward against Diddy, could this be the beginning of the end for the music mogul? Music industry rocked by Diddy's arrest. The shockwaves from Diddy's arrest have spread far beyond his personal circle, sending tremors through the entire music industry. As one of the most influential figures in hip hop and pop culture, Diddy's downfall has left many wondering what the long term impact will be. His label, Bad Boy Records, was responsible for launching the careers of some of the biggest names in music, and his connections to other major players run deep. With Diddy's legal troubles now taking center stage, many are questioning just how much this scandal could damage the careers of those around him. Major labels like Universal Music Group, which has a long-standing business relationship with Diddy, are already feeling the heat. Universal's CEO, Lucian Grange, has been named in multiple lawsuits connected to Diddy, with some allegations pointing to his involvement in hosting and sponsoring questionable parties. It's reported that Grange attended some of Diddy's notorious freak-off parties, which were allegedly rife with underage participants, drugs, and other illicit activities. While Grange hasn't commented publicly, the implications of his name being tied to Diddy's growing list of accusations have caused a stir in the industry. But Grange isn't the only one who could see his reputation damage. Diddy's arrest has also dragged other artists into the spotlight, whether through direct involvement or by association. Rappers like Meek Mill and Usher, both rumored to have attended Diddy's parties, are facing intense scrutiny. A leaked audio recording, which allegedly features Diddy and Meek Mill, has sparked further controversy with some speculating that Meek was involved in some of the more sordid activities at these events. Although Meek has denied these claims, the rumors continue to swirl, and his career could be severely impacted if more evidence comes to light. Usher, another artist closely tied to Diddy, has remained quiet about his connection to the scandal, but fans are digging into the details of their relationship. Usher was mentored by Diddy at a young age, and he has admitted in interviews that he witnessed things while living with Diddy that left him deeply uncomfortable. While Usher has yet to be implicated in any illegal activities, the association alone has left some questioning whether more secrets could eventually come to light. The fallout from Diddy's arrest isn't just impacting individuals, it's threatening to shake the entire industry. Major brands and sponsorships linked to Diddy's image are now reconsidering their partnerships. One of Diddy's most high-profile brands, Ciroc Vodka, is rumored to be distancing itself from the mogul as the scandal unfolds. The loss of these partnerships could mean financial disaster not only for Diddy but for the many artists and professionals who rely on his business empire. And it's not just his business connections that are suffering. The ripple effect is being felt across the entire hip-hop community, with some artists reportedly scrambling to cut ties with Diddy in an effort to avoid being dragged down with him. As new allegations emerge, many in the music world are nervously waiting to see if their names will be pulled into the scandal. With Diddy's arrest dragging so many down with him, will any of the biggest names in music be able to escape unscathed? Famous names dragged into Diddy's scandal. As the details of Diddy's scandal continue to unfold, the list of famous names tied to the controversy grows longer by the day. High profile figures from the worlds of music, film, and even religion have been linked to Diddy's secretive and questionable behavior. One of the most shocking names involved is Cuba Gooding Jr the Academy Award-winning actor known for his roles in films like Jerry Maguire. According to a lawsuit filed by Lil Rod, Diddy allegedly groomed and coerced him into engaging in sexual acts with Cuba Gooding Jr. These shocking claims have left fans of both Diddy and Gooding Jr. reeling, and while Cuba has denied the allegations, the rumors persist. 
but Cuba Gooding Jr. isn't the only famous figure to be caught up in Diddy's legal battles. Bishop T.D. Jakes, a well-known pastor and spiritual leader, has also found himself tied to the scandal. According to Lil Ra, Diddy had this odd routine of working out on treadmills while watching sermons by Bishop T.D. Jakes. At first, Jones thought it was cool that Diddy seemed to be into the religious messages, but it turns out, according to Jones, Diddy was not really interested in the spiritual side of things. Instead, he was studying Bishop Jakes' mannerisms, apparently to use them later to his own advantage. Jones claims that Diddy planned to use his connection to Jakes to soften the blow of a lawsuit filed against him by Cassie Ventura, but unfortunately that lawsuit, which accused Diddy of trafficking, was quickly settled, and Jones suggests this was not a mere coincidence. After hearing about these allegations, Jakes has publicly denied being involved in any illegal activity, but his mere association with Diddy's notorious lifestyle has left many questioning his judgment. A video from 2022, which showed Jakes attending one of Diddy's birthday parties, has only added fuel to the fire. The viral footage shows Jakes mingling with A-list celebrities, raising eyebrows about why a pastor would attend such an event. In addition to these names, reports have surfaced implicating other high-profile celebrities who might have been entangled in Diddy's scandal. Some insiders suggest that one of Diddy's closest friends, Jay-Z, might be questioned due to their years of collaboration and business dealings, and that's what Jay-Z was thinking until now. Then out of nowhere, Diddy pulled him into his mess. Those tapes that Diddy has in his home? He is claiming now that these are not just any tapes. They supposedly show some pretty dark stuff. In fact, Diddy says that those tapes are evidence against some celebrities who have engaged in illegal activities along with Diddy, and one of those celebrities is Jay-Z. Now Diddy is reportedly using these tapes as leverage, threatening to expose Jay-Z and others if they don't back him up in his legal battles and help him get out of jail. Can you imagine? Instead of staying quiet and handling his own mess, Diddy is threatening to drag other major names down with him. What's really interesting here is Jay-Z's silence. You would think he would jump in to shut all this down, but no, he has been surprisingly quiet. Maybe he has nothing to worry about, or maybe he is staying low-key for a reason. We all know how carefully Jay-Z protects his image. He has built an empire, and he is not about to let Diddy's drama ruin it. But if Diddy really has something on him, things could get bad real quick. The interesting thing is that the blackmailing might not stop with Jay-Z. Diddy has reportedly got Jennifer Lopez on those tapes too. While he has not made any direct threats toward her just yet, it is looking like she might be next in line. Once Diddy is done with Jay-Z, it seems like Jennifer could be his next target. Moreover, rumors about Diddy's infamous parties have led people to speculate about the involvement of even more celebrities like Leonardo DiCaprio. DiCaprio, known for his love of partying with Hollywood's elite, has been photographed at some of Diddy's most exclusive events. While no lawsuits or official claims have named him, the speculation alone has sparked curiosity about just how deep the rabbit hole goes. One of the most controversial connections is Diddy's relationship with Rihanna. The pop star has been spotted at several of Diddy's exclusive events over the years, and some are now wondering whether she knew about the darker side of Diddy's private life. While there is no current evidence linking her to the scandals, her name continues to circulate on social media as fans dig deeper into the history of Diddy's friendships and collaborations. Rihanna has not commented on the situation, but her association with Diddy has led to widespread speculation. And then there's the matter of Diddy's longtime relationship with Kim Kardashian. While Kim is known more for her reality TV empire, she and Diddy have attended numerous high-profile events together. Some gossip outlets have even suggested that Kim's presence at some of these parties raises more questions than answers. Kim, much like other high-profile figures, has remained silent as Diddy's legal troubles unfold, but the rumors have done little to quell public curiosity. The deeper the scandal goes, the more it exposes a tangled web of Hollywood and music industry elites who may have known more than they let on. As the lawsuits stack up and more names get dragged into the controversy, fans and media outlets alike are left to wonder how many more celebrities will be implicated, and more importantly, how will their careers be affected by their association with Diddy? The impact of this scandal stretches beyond just legal repercussions. It's beginning to take a toll on the reputations of anyone linked to Diddy. Take the case of Stevie J, a music producer and close collaborator of Diddy's. Stevie J has worked with some of the biggest names in music, but his association with Diddy has led to suspicions that he may have participated in the mogul's notorious freak-off parties. While Stevie J has not been named in any lawsuits, his silence on the matter has been deafening, and fans are starting to question his role in Diddy's empire. As more famous names get dragged into the scandal, it's clear that the situation is bigger than anyone first imagined. The fallout is likely to shake Hollywood and the music industry to their core, as connections to Diddy become liabilities instead of assets. Will more celebrities be named in future lawsuits? And if so, how will it impact their careers? One thing is certain, this scandal is far from over. As more allegations surface, more names will inevitably be pulled into the fray. The question is, who's next? What do you think? Will Diddy's empire survive? 
or is this the end of his reign in music and entertainment? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the biggest celebrity scandals. Stay tuned because this story is far from over.